Hey guys, Levi here with Trident Fly Fishing, and today we're gonna to be tying a mega mush mouth. It's a pattern developed by Dave Skoke. Really good for matching those wide profile bait fish. Whether they're bunker, herring, that sort of thing, you can tie this in a million colors, and it's gonna do a real solid job anytime big bait are on the menu, anywhere you're fishing, but it's particularly successful here in the Northeast. And uh, tied with SF fibers, it's got a flexible spine to prevent fouling, and uh, super easy tie, despite it being dang near 10 inches. So let's go ahead and get started on that right now. So we're gonna start this uh, mega mush mouth here with a Gamagatsu SC15 2A hook. This is a size five aught, but you can tie this on a larger hook. The SL12S is another good option and Arex's Blue Water series is also pretty great. We're gonna run our 6,000th Danville thread to about 65% of the hook shank and clip off our excess. And from there, we're gonna bring it up to about 60% mm, of the way, and it may depend on the size of the fly you're really going for. All right, so now that we have a thread base laid down, we're gonna move right into this uh, SF fiber. This is UV white. It's got some nice flash in there. And we don't need a lot of this. We're gonna just break. You can also use slinky fiber, but we're gonna use this for the fly, so we will keep it consistent and what we're going to do is measure out a tail and this is going to be our flexible spine which is a key characteristic of this fly invented by Dave Skoke and this is a real genius system here that's easy and prevents fouling so I'm going to measure that out to be eh, four or five inches beyond that hook bend so get that measured hit it with a couple securing wraps and we will cut the excess off. This is a real nice, easy pattern to tie, developed by Dave Skoke. And it's a good pattern for imitating your large bodied bait fish, whether it be bunker, herring, anything like that. Now that we have our first layer of SF in, we're gonna move into this Mirage Flashaboo. We're gonna need probably between eh, 20 and maybe 30 or so strands of this. We want this to A, build our lateral line, and B, it's going to add a little bit of extra bulk to this flexible spine. So get that cut off. And we want this to hang just a bit beyond the SF fiber. So measure it accordingly, and we'll get that tied in right on top. All right, so now that we have that secured, I like to hit a few wraps just behind this tail, and that'll sort of angle this upward, help contribute to that bait fish profile that we're looking for. One more. All right, so now that we have this, it's the, in my opinion, coolest part of this fly, liquid fusion. We're gonna come in here and really coat this about 30% of the way up this flexible spine. And we really wanna saturate it in there. You want it to be at least the length of the hook shank. And the way this liquid fusion works is it'll dry and it won't dry super hard. It's gonna have some flex to it and that is going to prevent this nice big fly from fouling. It's a from the mind of Dave Skoke, but it's a real awesome characteristic of this fly. So you don't have to worry about it fouling whenever you're casting into a big, hopefully blitzing school of fish. Now that we have our spine uh, glued in, we're gonna move right into some SF fibers. This is gonna be an olive shade, but you can tie this fly in really any variety of colors that you're looking to uh, imitate. This is a really good pattern, easy to tie whenever you need to match things like bunker or herring or anything that has a real large profile. So we're gonna measure out two clumps. We're gonna need one in olive and that's gonna be our top. That might be just a little shy. Grab a little bit more. It's a big, thick bunch, but this is a pretty big fly, so it makes sense. So that's gonna be our top. Come back into this white, grab our bottom. We want these to be uh, equal in size, equal in thickness. And if you need to air on anything, you can air on the top having more fibers so that your fly rides correctly in the water. So now that we have our two bunches, 
what I like to do is just come in with my bodkin and just straighten this out. In these packages, sometimes you get fibers that sort of are kinked up and it just doesn't help the overall look of the fly or your tying. So get in there with a the brush will work too. We want to bring our thread about 25% beyond the hook eye and we're gonna measure this out on top. I want it to be just a little shorter than the spine and you can introduce a little taper to the bunch if need be but I'm happy with what I have here. So let's get that locked in and we'll go ahead and tie it in right on top of the hook shank. All right, get that situated. And yeah, we have plenty to fold back. All right, now do the same on the bottom of the hook shank with this white. Again, if you need to introduce any taper to it, you can, but this is a fly that you can ultimately trim should you need to. You have to manipulate this around the hook point, which can sometimes be a little bit of a pain, but this is an easy fly to tie for the size. All right, so I'm happy with that. Go ahead and secure that in. You'll see the bait fish profile coming together and I'm gonna wind my thread just behind the eye, but first I'll just make sure that I like the looks of these clumps and get any stray fibers out. This is one of those flies that will probably make a mess. So wind this right to behind the eye and you can stop and check, but I'm okay with that. And before we fold this back to create the remainder of the fly, I'm gonna come in with a little more liquid fusion just right up here and that's gonna prevent any additional fouling sort of structure this fly just a little more. You can hit those thread wraps too if you like. So from there, we're gonna fold this rearward and tie it off. I'm just making sure my fibers are all going 360 degrees around this hook. And I get in there. Might take a second to really work everything around, but again, for the size of this fly, it's kind of worth it. It's a quick, easy tie to get such a big profile in the water. All right, so now come right over top of those two materials and tie it off. We're just about done with the tying portion of this fly. I wanna get an area now. We're gonna put some eyes in there. So let's hit it with a few whip finishes. I'm gonna do two because this 6,000th diameter thread sometimes has some memory and it'll unravel. And if you guys like what you see today, be sure to hit the like button below. And if you really like it, go ahead and hit the subscribe button so you don't miss any of these future videos. All right, so before I start getting in there and working with some UV, I just want to run my bodkin through here. I am pretty okay with the profile that I tied into this fly, but if you're not, you can certainly trim it as needed, but I don't think there's too much trimming that I need to do there, thankfully. That has a good look, maybe. Just a few stray fibers. Soften up that appearance up here. All right, so from there, we're gonna run some solar res, get rid of any fibers. If you have one of those hair clips, might might behoove you to throw that in. But let's just build a nice even and symmetrical head here. And this will give us a good spot for our eyes to be seated in. Get a bead around there and then we'll come in here with our bodkin and just even it up. Sometimes I feel like the head's the hardest part of this fly because the tying procedure is pretty cut and dry.
we want it to be nice and even. And with the 3 8 inch eyes, we do need a little bit of surface area there, but I'm happy with that, so let's just go ahead and cure it. All right, that's good. And now we're gonna get into some big 3 8 inch eyes, but before we do that, I want to create a little area for these to stick to. So I'm gonna come in with some solar res. Uh, this is the thick viscosity. I'm gonna hit it with a little bit of adhesive, stick it on there, and then I'll cure it before I form the head. But you'll see how realistic that eye looks. Now that we have an eye on that side, we're just gonna do the same thing on the rear. Just hit it with a little bit of adhesive and stick that eye right on there and cure it. And now you'll see these sort of valleys. So now we're gonna finish this head off with this UV. We wanna build this so that we get a nice sort of bait fish profile. We just want to shape this head to be nice and pronounced and even. And you can use your bodkin to facilitate that. But I am, and eh, maybe we need a little more right here. All right, I'm okay with that. So I'm gonna hit it with the light now and cure it on all sides. That is a mega mush mouth. I wanna thank you guys for watching and I will see you next time.